Hi, I'm John and I'm back from Barbie Land. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Barbie has earned more than a billion dollars at the box office! Woo! Sorry about that. Anyway, hooray for Barbie! A fun, touching, and very strong blockbuster movie. Dare I say it's the best movie of the year. Nah, it was okay. Just okay? Uh-huh. Ignore her. Anyway, there was a scene in the movie where Gloria was like, My idea is for Barbies who are just normal dolls with cute fashions. They don't have to be extraordinary like a doctor or something, just regular dolls. And the CEO was like, Okay. Then it got me thinking. We already have those kinds of dolls. They are called Barbie fashionistas, and I have a lot of unopened ones. So I figured, why not unbox all these dolls? These are fashionistas from last year, or late last year. I bought them a couple of months ago, and I forgot to unbox them. And now we're here. These are the ones that I personally liked from this wave. So without further ado, let's unbox some dolls. The first doll we're going to unbox is... Fashionista number 185. She looks so cute in her artwork right there. I wish that we could post them like this, but eh. These are Playline dolls. Still beautiful though. Let's get her out of the packaging. She is absolutely gorgeous. She's on a default Barbie body, and I am loving her overall look. It's so simple and fun. Let's take a closer look. Her face screening is so cute, but shiny and pixelated. She has green, brown, greenish eyes, thick eyebrows, a cute set of freckles, and light red lipstick. She has a little printed on teeth showing in there, kind of a half smile, so beautiful. She has curly poofy bangs and the rest of her hair is tied up and poofed up at the back. She also has this orange plastic head wrap headband thing, which is a new accessory sculpt, I think. I've never seen this on a previous doll before, so that's cute. She's on a fitted off-shoulder dress with bleached denim design that kind of looks like a cow print. I love the off-shoulder and thank Mattel they made this outfit fitted and not like one of those sack dresses. The print goes all the way to the back and there's Velcro. She has on this white high heel ankle boots with pointed toes. It's basic and the heel part is wobbly plastic so there's that but it works with this outfit. This is fashionista number 185. She's one of my favorites from this wave because of her gorgeous face and hair, and also she's one of the more fashionable fashionistas so far. You get what I'm saying. The next doll we are going to unbox is a special doll. This is the first fashionista doll with hearing aids. She is... Fashionista number 187. Here's her cute artwork. The hair looks amazing there. Now let's free her from the pink plastic cage. I love, love, love her already. She gives off a very positive vibe, you know? She looks so cute and she looks like one of those friends you'd want to hang out with all day. Here's a closer look at her face, and I'm very happy that she has none of those shiny pixelated screening. Her blush could have been a bit smoother, you know? She's kind of looking like a clown right now. She has green eyes, thick eyebrows, and a wide smile. And here's a look at her hearing aid. It's made out of a clear plastic with pink painted on. She has one in each ear. This is a first for Barbie. Her hair unfortunately feels like one of those cheap ones. It's brown and it, it looks and feels like cheap. Sorry, but it's styled simple and nice so it doesn't bother me a bit. She has on this black dress that has a floral pattern. We've got some pink, some purples, and white in there. She has huge white collars like whoa. The print goes all the way to the back, and there's Velcro. 
She has on this glittery pink jelly boots. This shoe mold is not new, we've seen this before on other Fashionista dolls. But I, I love the sparkly glitter. She is a very nice and very important addition to the Fashionistas line. They've always been about inclusivity and I'm glad it still shows that. Here's another first for the Fashionistas line. Here is the first Ken doll with vitiligo. He is none other than Fashionista number 192. Here's his artwork. He looks so cute in there. Let's see how the actual doll looks. Here he is out of the box. He looks like he's just gonna go out for a walk at the beach, you know. Very casual beach look for this Ken. Just like the vitiligo Barbie from years before, this fashionista has printed on spots on his face, as well as spots on other parts of his body, his shoulder, his arms, and his hands. He's got a cute face screening, the usual Ken face. He's got dark blue eyes and a natural colored lips. And he has brown hair, sculpted on hair. We've seen this sculpt before. He has on this blue ombre tank top that says Malibu, and it velcros at the back. He wears salmon colored shorts, which also velcros at the back. He wears a pair of light blue sandals. This sculpt I've never seen before, so that's new. My mini me will be stealing it. Thank you very much. He is also a very important addition to this line. Also because Ken dolls never really get to have this kind of variety before. So I'm glad they're including Ken in this inclusivity. The next doll we're taking a look at is this gal right there with a big smile. She's also a first for Barbie. She is fashionista number 197. Here's her cute artwork. I wish we could post the dolls like this. What makes her special? Let's find out! She is the first Barbie with braces. Well, it's printed on braces, but still. Okay, okay. Let's take a closer look. Here she is in all her pixelated glory. She uses the Millie face sculpt and print, but modified. Her smile is bigger, so that we can see her braces a bit. When pictures of her first leak on Instagram, I was like, I am so gonna get her. She looks so cute with her braces. Okay, now we also need Ken with braces, okay? Mattel, do it right now! Anyway, she has pink sunflower glasses, that's fun. And she also has long blonde hair with either a curly wave or box hair. She wears this over-the-top rainbow dress with ruffles at the sides. Aw, where was this in Pride Month? The colors are so strong and vibrant. I love it. She wears this high heel platform shoes. Is that what it's called? Anyway, it's highlighter yellow and it has cute sculpted details. She is a very fun doll to add to our Fashionistas collection. Her braces are new, her outfit is so loud and fun, and her face looks so sweet! She's a sweetheart. Speaking of sweethearts, we have another one. I swear, these recent Fashionista dolls are so cute. Okay, she is Fashionista number 198. Here she is in her artwork, so beautiful. Now let's get her out of this box. Here she is, she's so adorable. She's on a petite Barbie body with flat feet. She looks very 2000s. Let's take a closer look at her face. She has a very sweet face up. She has dark blue eyeshadows. I love that lip color and that little teeth showing. She also has painted on edges. Unfortunately, the face screening is all shiny and pixelated. Ugh. 
She has these gold-colored heart-shaped hoop earrings. That's cute. And her hair is tied at the back and gathers at the back to make this poofy afro perfection. This hairstyle is simple and so, so stunning. She wears this orange top with a single printed on flower and kind of a V hemline at the end there. It's giving 2000s throwback and I love it. The top is paired with this mid-length high-waisted pants that has a very, again, 2000s groovy floral pattern. This has got to be one of my favorite fashionista outfits in this entire line. I mean, look at that! 10 out of 10. Perfection. I love, love, love it! She came with a pair of white shoes with a new sculpt, I guess. I haven't seen this one before, so it must be new. She is one of my favorites so far. I love her whole throwback aesthetic and I wish more dolls were unafraid to reference the past. Now I am very excited about this doll. I believe she has a brand new face sculpt and she looks like she could be Southeast Asian or Filipino. She is so gorgeous. She is fashionista number 199. Here's her artwork. I wish her facial features were presented more in this artwork. Let's get her out of the box now! She is in a tall Barbie body. She is so stunning and her look is very simple. She's a pretty simple doll but I love, love, love her. Okay, let's take a closer look at her face. Here she is, super pretty. I am so happy that her face print isn't shiny or pixelated. She has beautifully painted on eyebrows, brown eyes, a little dark eyeshadow, a tiny blush on her cheek, and pink lips. Again, I am so happy that her face creamy is perfect. She has long black hair that is super soft. She is gorgeous. She's wearing this beautiful dress. Now, this one looks like it has two pieces, but it's actually just the one, which is so sad. Still a cute dress though, but they could have been separated, just saying. She comes with a pink scrunchie bracelet and pink scrunchie heels to match. Aw, this shoe sculpt is so cute. It's not high heels though, it's just slightly elevated shoes for slightly elevated Barbie feet. I am so happy that I got her because she is just absolutely beautiful. And honestly, I'm really liking all these current fashionista dolls. Next up, we have another fashionista doll with a brand new face sculpt. I love that they're giving us new faces in this more affordable line, you know? She is fashionista number 200. Here's her artwork, which does not look like her at all. Cute, but I don't see her face here. So, let's see what she actually looks like out of the box. Here she is, and she looks so fabulous. The dress is okay, but I just love this doll so much. She can wear rags and I'd still call her fabulous. Now let's take a closer look at her face. It's a shame that her face is shiny and pixelated. Okay, but she, she is gorgeous. She has a new gorgeous face sculpt that I am just living for. She has more defined cheekbones and also a more defined nose shape. She looks like she could be Native American, but you know, she could also be Southeast Asian or Pacific. She comes with white sunglasses. She has long dark brown hair. She wears this green jumper with ruffles and huge dot prints. A real human would not be able to pull this one off, but it looks cute in doll form. It does not have Velcro at the back. She also wears this bright highlighter orange heels with sculpted on pom-poms. 
This is a nice shoe sculpt, and it might benefit from repainting. She is so gorgeous. I love, love, love this new face. And I love that they're diversifying the faces, not just skin tones, hairs, and stuff. We love to see it. And the last doll we're taking a look at is this handsome Ken doll with a face we've probably seen before. Here is Fashionista number 203. Let's get him out of the box right now. They seriously need new outfit designs for Ken dolls because they're always in shorts or tank tops or shirts. <sighs> Just a little rant there. This Ken doll is so cute though. I especially love his new head sculpt, so let's take a closer look at that. I believe this head sculpt is a modified Barbie Lux face sculpt. You know, the, the Ken doll with it not tie bun from the first wave. Only this doll has sculpted on hair, which honestly, I kinda like. It's a new hair sculpt for Ken, and I'm very happy that this face screening is not pixelated at all. Yay! He wears this orange top with white hemmed stitching. It has white and blue printed on design and a varsity letter that says K for Ken. No pattern at the back and it velcros at the back. He has on this basic gray shorts, so basic, but my mini me will have that, thank you. And white shoes, which kind of looks like a new shoe sculpt? Correct me if I'm wrong. It does look like new to me. This Ken is a nice addition to my Ken collection. He might need a new outfit though. He's a very beautiful doll on his own and I'm very happy that I got him. So these are the Fashionista dolls from last year. Mattel is in the right direction when it comes to diversifying this line even more. Not just the body types, the skin colors, or the hair color, but also with new face sculpts more cohesive and palatable fashions, and inclusivity in other conditions. I expect to see Ken with braces soon. Oh, and I'd also love it if they had a scoliosis fashionista. They had it with a Chelsea doll, so maybe they can do it right here on this line. Although that would be the model news body. I don't know. So, what did you guys think about the Barbie movie? For me, it was the best movie of the year. Okay, opinions, go! I love that it's surprisingly deep. Yeah, it has a great message about you being enough as a person or a doll. And not to mention it's super funny. Yes, yes, that's right. Only good opinions for my favorite movie of the year. Just the way I like it. So is there anything else you'd like to add? It's boring. <laughs> She is so boring in her own movie. Even Ken stole her spotlight. Honestly, this movie should have been about me, Raquel. There we have it. Barbie Fashionistas 2022. Just regular dolls with cute fashions, just like what Gloria pitched at the end of the movie. Speaking of the movie, what do you guys think about it? What's your honest opinion? Share it in the comment section below. Promise I won't throw something at ya. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at John in the Dream House. And as always, see you next time at the Dream House. Bye bye now. <laughs>